Oh man, guys, it's cold. It's cold. Um, it rained. Yeah, it's 5 a.m. I'm at the Tommy's here, the world famous, and I'm the only one here. I came over here because they had a little special that they're uh, promoting on Facebook. It's the only reason why I check my Facebook once in a while. <laughs> Don't know if you could see that, but it basically it's a 350 for a double chili cheeseburger or chili hot dog, ch chili cheese hot dog for 350 or a uh, tamale. Normally, the double chili cheeseburger is like 750. So, and I saw someone pay that right after me. Uh, anyhow, the weak point about this original location is their fries because in the original location here, they fry it over here, the fries, and then they transport it over there to be stored and to be served. This is the main reason why I prefer the location over at Sunset in Hollywood. But anyhow, let me start eating. did ask for extra extra chili which is a uh, they don't charge extra for extra chili you guys want to see this it looks it doesn't look it doesn't look appetizing i mean it won't look appetizing for you but for me i <laughs> yeah <laughs> it is what it is there's a mosquito <laughs> get away mosquito <laughs> Um, I just kind of put it aside, everything on the side. Can I get into the chili a little bit? And I do have to say, it's been sitting here for about <laughs> about ten minutes. I was making a TikTok video. Okay, it doesn't look it does not look appetizing, that's for sure. But it's tasty. And then I go with the fries in here. Hey, hey, hey. Good morning. All right. I need both hands. Woo. Woo. That could have been bad. That could have been bad. I got lucky there. Dropped the phone, but it didn't fall to the ground. I got lucky. Whew. Hey, hey, hey. Get into this. Okay. But this hot dog is out. We're looking, this is the weirdest looking hot dogs I've, been, I've had at Tommy's. It's all. Uh, I think this hot dog's been sitting. Hmm. What the hell happened here?
No, this this is not good. All right, I'll save. the over a hundred times I've had hot dogs here this is the worst this is the worst <laughs> so I'll give them a break because uh, yeah this has definitely been sitting around for a while but I'm not gonna send the hot dog back <laughs> especially at 6 a.m. in the morning uh, I'll just eat this This is the worst. Part. It's right. Oh man, it's so bad. I want to throw it away, but. with this one all good hopefully the burger should be better because I saw them make the burger fresh yeah it's like It's like the dog's been in there <laughs> in the canister for a while. Can you see it? Hmm. I just can't get myself to throw this away. But it's right on that threshold. Right, take a bite. No, I, I haven't. I haven't drank. I'm not drunk. No drinking tonight. Nothing. Just uh, randomly sort of ended up here because I saw the. <laughs> I was looking for food, and I saw it on my Facebook post that they're having this special. So I'm like, all right, let's go get some. And I think this is one of the remaining location that's 24 hours, because back in the days, all the, all the. Tommy's were generally 24 hours. Not anymore.
again. I'll give I'll give Tommy the break because it's never happened before. However, this one was the worst. Here the burger. Okay, this is not gonna look. Some people get the chili on the side, not to mess with all this, uh... <laughs> you know, see it? Yeah, I'll show you. What up, guys? I've got a feeling the few of you who are in here are probably brand new to this channel. Um, Either you're a Tommy's fan or you're you're in LA. Not quite sure how you found the place, but feel free to say what's up. Instead of just watching someone eat a chili burger at 6 a.m. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let me get into this. So, what I do is, I, I just I don't ever get chili cheese on my fries. I just kind of work around this to start it off. But again, the reason why I don't think this original location is the best is because again, the fry situation, because they fry it over here and then transport it over there and they hold it over there. So fries are never fresh. It can't be, unless you order from here. Cause sometimes this spot is open, you could order directly here. And another thing is, for, I'm, I'm kidding you, I kid you not. I think the burger, chili, the chili, obviously the fries, it's all better over at the Hollywood location. Unfortunately, that's not 24 hours anymore. So I had to come over here. So I take the tomato out. They're known for having a thick old steak size tomato. I just put it to the side. I'll eat it as I go because it's, it's just make the burger too thick. <clears throat> Get the burger. I hope that's fully cooked. I know these patties are frozen, but usually it's not pink like that. Usually. But at this point, at this point, I'm so far into this. I mean, what am I gonna go? Take it back? Where are you guys? Uh, it's a little pink in the middle. <laughs> I'm gonna just eat it and see how it goes.
Go, go. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? I don't know, my man. What up, Bailey? <laughs> How am I? I'm eating some uh, chili cheese hot dog and a double chili cheeseburger. I can't even talk. I, I, I was napping. I guess I was sleeping. I fell asleep around like 1 a.m. and then at 4 a.m. I woke up and then I was just scrolling uh, checking my Facebook real quick and then I saw Tommy's was having a little special <laughs> so <laughs> what up Bailey Bailey have you had a Tommy's burger before sort of a LA thing there's one in a couple Tommy locations in um, in Vegas. No. Mm. <laughs> Bailey, uh, to put Tommy's in perspective, if you know In and Out, if you know In and Out burgers, right? And nowadays, In and Out is way more well known burger than Tommy's. But until like the. Uh, around year 2000 tommy's had more locations and it was more of an la burger than in and out before year 2000 but in the last 15 years 20 years tommy's has lost its luster you know because the kids see this kind of stuff they're like whoa we can't eat this stuff it doesn't look appetizing Here's the thing about Tommy's though. If you grew up with Tommy's, you'll get a Tommy's craving once in a while. And the way I always broken down Tommy's is this. Versus in and out. I always say this. Now, for an everyday hamburger, I'll take in and out over Tommy's any day. However, if it was my last choice, like, hey, man, you get one shot. You get Tommy or you get in and out You got one choice. That's it. That's the case. I'm picking Tommy's for the last. This is what I'm looking for. For the last session. Oh, 
there's a car coming in, so I'm not the only one here. Back in the heydays, there's no way you'll ever be here alone. At any time, any day, they'll, it'll have a good flow of people. But eh, especially since the pandemic, and especially since you know they've sort of lost their luster. Uh, in the last, especially in the last, like you know, seven years or so. Almost done. I hope I'll be okay. It's cold over here, so, well, you know, LA standard cold. So I can't tell if this is warm or cold because it's cold. I do know this, out of my 100 times hundreds of times eating at Tommy's. I've never seen their patties this red. This is where I'm, <laughs> they're infamous for this. And also no sitting down. You stand up and eat. In the heyday, you come here over here, you know, when all the bars are closing down, all the clubs at 2 a.m., it'll be packed. It's just a show here. All different kind of show cars, show girls, showmen, all kinds of stuff. Security guards, gunfights, knife fights, the whole shebang here, LA. Back in the 1990s and 80s. Hey, Mike. You don't want to know what this is. It's a chili burger and a chili hot dog. And these are just pickles. Hey, Bailey. Bailey, the interesting thing about KFC is KFC is falling apart here in the U.S. for maybe the last 15 years. Very rarely you hear someone say, hey, let's go have KFC here now anymore, at least in the L.A. area. 
couple of locations have closed down. It's more about some of the other places. But if you're talking about like mainstream chicken places, it's usually Popeyes, Popeyes, uh, churches. KFC is not really talked about over here. Although I know KFC is huge in like China, Japan, I guess Australia as well. So this place, so this place, Tommy's, sort of reminds me of KFC's Ark. Because KFC at one point was the go-to chicken place in the 80s and maybe 90s, especially here in LA. Because we didn't get Popeyes here in LA until maybe the mid-80s. Uh, came from the south. But anyhow, yeah, Tommy's, no one really talks about Tommy's out here anymore. Unless you're like my age or older or... Or if you went to uh, USC, the college, because USC is nearby. A lot of USC folks who are my age and older, they love Tommy's. They've been coming here, especially the older ones, like people in their maybe 60s, 70s, and 80s, if they're still alive. And if they went to uh, USC, they're a huge, huge Tommy's fan. Um. But those people are not, you know, either they've moved out of L.A. or they've just, you know, mo moved on. And uh, and some of their kids like it because they grew up on it. But, man, I don't see any 20-year-olds generally asking for Tommy's. Like, they don't go around Tommy's. Maybe that's why they're so aggressive on Facebook. Because on Facebook, every, like, once a month or so, they'll have, like, incredible deals like today. <laughs> Um, Blondie B. Hey, Mike, do you guys have chili burgers up in Canada? There's a lot of places that don't have chili burgers still. I, I, I eat the pickles and the tomato at the end. I feel like something very rich like the chili burgers here. I gotta wash it down with some pickles. Help my stomach digest it, right? Good morning, Mike. I'm in LA. A uh, place called Tommy's Original World Famous Chili Burgers. It's an LA icon. Um, it's it's lost LA luster, Tommy's, in the last 15 years or so, but it's still hanging on. Good old Tommy's. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> what up, Michael Mech? <laughs> what up? By the way, there's a few Tommy locations in Vegas, and I've tried it a few times, and it's it's not good. It's not good. In, it's not good in Vegas. I guess the chili doesn't taste the same out there. Ah, oh, Mike. I feel like it's only a good burger if you either grew up eating it, or if you grew up eating it. Yeah. 
because these new kids, they, I don't think they eat chili burgers or Tommy's anymore. It's like no one really talks about Tommy's anymore. Like their clientele base is still like folks my age and older and maybe a little bit younger than me. Maybe in their mid thirties at the youngest. And we'll say, we'll say low thirties at the youngest. Cause they still have connectivity through their, you know, fathers or however they learn Tommy's from. But generally like, cause Tommy's and in and out both started in LA. And for a long time, Tommy's was like this. in and out was still like this until about year 2000 and then just in and out just kind of shh, and then tommy just tom tommy's pretty much disappeared in and out's out here because in and out's almost like internationally known now right I'll break that down further a little bit after this. Hmm. I'm eating my uh, tomatoes and my pickles Gotta get some veggies in me, right? All right. All right. I, I did good here. I did good. I, you know, I'm not going to mess with this. This, Tommy's is one of the first places that started this trend of giving this out. And they've been doing this for a long time. These uh, hot peppers. Okay. So if you see these these days at a restaurant that they give you this, Tommy's probably started this trend. I'm not messing with this because it's 6 a.m. And yeah, this bur this chili burger or ch the hot dog, out of the hundreds and hundreds of times I had it here, and I liked it. I liked their hot dogs better than their burger. It was the worst, worst hot dog that they've served. So I'll give them, I'll give them a break. It, it could happen once in a while, right? All good, no harm, no foul. And you saw the burger. I've had better here, but at 6 a.m. Got the job done, job done here. I wasn't even hungry, guys. I was just kind of like, I gotta eat something just for the sake of eating. So let's throw this away. People are starting to roll in. All right, let's go. Let me break this down. Let's go in the car. Make sure I got everything. 
cool location again setups like this is impossible to build brand new like these outdoor kind of you know kitchen exposed type of situation they do not approve of this anymore here in la now, they haven't been doing that since like the 80s or maybe even the 70s these will not get approved so all these restaurants that's remaining these are old school type of restaurants or stands and you know you got to get one that's existing like this if you want to open up something like this you know it's got to be grandfathered in yeah I, because you know these it's a health inspection situation where they can't have it exposed i guess they're saying flies could get in and out this and this and that but come on i think i think pretty soon they're gonna relax on that law health code that they've been having for a long time because you know the, during the pandemic you know they're approving all these other kind of situations where you cook outside and do this do that do that so hopefully we'll get to see new restaurant setups like this in the future because come on like you have these food food trucks and this and this and that no one's dying it's all good it is all good all right, let's keep it moving. Now, at one point, it was L.A. Both Tommy's and In-N-Out, they're both L.A. things, right? L.A. Now, you have In-N-Out folks and you have Tommy's folks. You've always sort of had that, kind of. But until the, let's say, year 2000, the year 2000, the year 2000, until the year 2000, you know, Tommy's had a lot more location than in and out in L.A. And, um, for example, for me, I didn't get to eat too much in and out growing up because, you know, you had to go to these remote locations to get the in and out. You didn't have Tommy's in the inner cities. Uh, you would have to go to, what's the closest in and out that I had to go to? We had to go to this place called a uh, Tahunga. Tahunga <laughs> to get in and out. Anyhow. Long story short, come year 2000, around then, this in and out just went to a whole different level. Like, it just in and out just... And then Tommy's just stayed like a relatively... <clears throat> a local... All right, I'll shut the hell up. Guys, um, let's go get some uh, coffee. Coffee. <laughs> I could count in, on, on the on my hands, maybe like less than five times ever in LA do I go like, let's go get some coffee. Who am I turning into, guys? I don't know. Hey, 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 who's in here? Michael Mech. Michael Mech. We've he I've heard of the place. Is is it a good burger? Ah. Uh, most people who didn't grow up eating chili burgers will not like it. They'll be like, what, what is this? For example, oh, 95% of my friends who moved into LA, okay, will never eat Tommy's. They'll, they just won't eat Tommy's. They'll see it, they're like, ooh, what is this? It just won't register. They will not eat Tommy's. Um, but they'll eat the hell out of In-N-Out. But I like Tommy's. Uh, I said it earlier. I'll say it again. Now, if I was given this proposition, hey, do you want In-N-Out or Tommy's? Like this proposition. I've been talking about this for over 20 years. And this is how I've always broken it down. <laughs> Because again, either you're in and out or Tommy's. There's usually not the case. But for me, I like both. I've always said this. For everyday hamburgers, I'll take in and out. Like, not even close. Every day. But if it was my last choice, they go, hey, you get one shot of in and out or you get one shot of Tommy's. Just one. This is your last one. Which one will you take? I'll take Tommy's. Like, your Tommy's craving or Tommy, Tommy just hits like a knockout. But you can't get that knockout all the time. Maybe like a couple times a year. 
uh, maybe once a month at most. But these days for me, in the last like 10 years or 15 years, I come to Tommy's maybe three times a year, maybe. Maybe, you know. And these days I come once in a while because I see it on Facebook. Like it's special. You get one, buy one free. For example, today I paid three fifty for the double che cheeseburger, chili cheeseburger, double cheese, which is usually like eight bucks. But on the Facebook, I saw it. It's like hey, three dollars and fifty cents for that, or the hot dog, chili dog, which I love their chili dog usually. But today, I actually like their chili dog better than their hot dogs here. But today was the worst chili dog I've had here. Uh, and you know what? It happens, and it's the first time it's happened like that. I mean, I could see it. It's it's. The hot dog was all crunched up and it was like, <laughs> it was all crumpled up or whatever you call it. It was, <laughs> it didn't look really good, but it's 6am. I'm not going to return that. Hey, hey, what up guys? I didn't even wash my face. <laughs> I just, all right, let's go get some coffee. So, um, hopefully that answers you. Michael, there, there's a couple of Tommies in Vegas. I've heard of it. Happy Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Is Tommy's a good valley? No, we don't have chili burgers. And chili bur dogs are few in between. Yeah, ch chili burgers. You know, this was year, around year 2000. When I feel like Tommy's w was at, at its peak. Um, my friend who moved to LA at the time from Arizona, Phoenix area. He fell in love with Tommy's. He's like, whoa. This is good. And he's not a white guy. I don't know why he did it. Whoa. <laughs> he's a Filipino guy, right? From Arizona. Like, he liked Tommy's. We used to go eat Tommy's all the time after hooping or whatever we do. And we said at one point, we're like, hey, you know what? Oh, you don't have a Tommy's in Arizona? Uh, let's go make a Tommy's in Arizona. So we were making the frameworks for me to move out to Arizona. And I was going to do uh, open up like a chili burger <laughs> situation uh yeah when i was out there looking for houses this and this and that and and the real estate market at that point was incredible right you think la was incredible i was like dude arizona was on a whole different level like you could get a big old mansion for like a buck 50 a buck 25 and they'll build it brand new for you that concept of building your own house me growing up here in la was a foreign thought like, not even a thought, you know, like, oh, you get to customize your house and build, they'll build it for you? <laughs> not even a thought it, where I grew up, right, in L.A.? But he's out, yeah, yeah, I'm like, no, for real? So I go out there, we're, I'm checking out these developments out there, and yeah, for about 100, a buck 25, a buck 50, for a buck 50, you, we're talking like 4,000 square feet. The whole thing in Arizona. So I'm like, okay, this is looking nice. And I think we rolled around, checked out a potential few locations. Um, and all that abruptly fell out because uh, I got into some sort of a situation at that time where it just kind of, I had to basically flip the pan and <laughs> I had to start flipping the pan. And everything just flipped over and, uh, you know, life happened for a split second there. So yeah, even chili bird. Yes, chili bird. Yeah, I don't chili. The hat. I want to try the hat. Cause uh, Mike, remember the hat? The hat has also chili burgers over there. Chili pastrami burgers. I'm gonna give that a try. I don't know if my friend got the chili. I don't think he had chili in his burger. He just got the chili. He just got the pastrami burger. He didn't get the pastrami chili burger. Or the chili cheese fries over at the hat. I might be there later on today. I want to see my buddy later on today. So after that, we might uh, I might go back to... Because he, he fell in love with the hat when I took him there. He's like, oh my goodness. And he's an he's a LA dude, but he's never been to the hat. Oh, did I... I'm, I'm jealous. Terrible tragedy. What happened at Bond? I saw the news about the stabbing at the mall. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Is Tommy's Good Valley. Tommy's Good Valley, if you have the Facebook uh, special, which they throw out every month. Other than that, those fries were four fifty, which is uh, it's a little strong, but then again, it's L.A. now. I mean, they got to pay their employees $20 an hour. What can I do? But that meal right there with the Facebook special came out to 12 bucks. 
So that's really good value. Although the food proposition today, it was their off day. It was off. Mr. Mac, happy Sunday. I've heard of I heard of that place. Is it a good burger? How are the how are the sides? Good fries. They don't have onion rings. They don't have coleslaw here. They keep it really simple. Even the uh, even the French fries here in the original location, they didn't offer French fries here. It was usually grab a bag of chips, because they didn't utilize a fryer here. But about twenty years ago, with the with In and Out climbing, they're like, hey guys, we have to start order, uh, offering fries here because we can't just not offer fries. So they offer fries here, but again. They cook it over here, and they have to transport it over there. And during that transition, the fries are never, never, never fresh. The fries are never good here. So I prefer other locations of Tommy's, especially the one in Hollywood. That is my favorite Tommy location. Anyone who tells you this one tastes the best, they don't know what they're talking about. They're just saying that because this is the original. But trust me, the best tasting Tommy's, chili burgers, chili, cooking, consistency, especially the fries is over at the Hollywood location. But unfortunately, it's not 24 hours anymore. It used to be. Most of these Tommy's locations was 24 hours open, but not anymore. I think this is one of the most, this is one of the few remaining ones that's 24 hours. If not the only one that's 24 hours, this original Tommy's location. That's why I'm here. <laughs> I came all the way here. Uh, how are how are the sides? No cold, they just have fries. As, they used to have just bag of chips. That's all they had. Do they do they do shakes? I don't think they do shakes. They finally offer in like last five years. They offer a soft serve, like a little ice cream cone. But no, no, no milkshakes here. No, -uh, no milkshakes. Any dessert items? I don't. Just that soft serve and the soda. And for the longest time, they serve their sodas in cans. So over there, there's a little walk-in station where you go, and they had a series of open coolers where you open up and get your soda by the can, 12-ounce cans. That was what they're notorious for. But again, around 2000, when in and out was making that, you know, skyrocketing trend, Tommy's was like, oh, we need to make adjustments. These 12-ounce cans is not doing it. We got to offer free refills with fountain drinks. So they opened up that kiosk about 20 years ago. Over Damn, that's a long time ago. Damn. When I'm saying the year 2000, to me, it just seems like kind of like yesterday. But when, when I do the math, oh, damn, that's over 20 years ago. <laughs> that's, that's over 20 years ago. Do you ever eat anything after Alex left you at the bar and the other night? Or did you just... Have a long nap in your car. Oh, yeah, my... Yeah, no, I didn't make it over there because I just... Yeah, I just... I hung out in the car. Yeah, I didn't I didn't make it over there to Alex's. Um, yeah, they're telling me to leave my car and, you know, go, go over there. But then, you know, it gets complicated in LA if I leave the car and then go over there. Because he's on the other side of town. And then... It'll be Monday, and then to navigate back the next day, it's it gets a little convoluted. Uh, but at the same time, I, I I pretty much I know when to chill, so I just kind of chilled out, and then. Or did you have? A, so I didn't I didn't need anything that day. Just thank goodness. <laughs> Tahuna, Tahuna. Sounds like you were going to Samoa for <laughs> Oh Tahanga. Yes, ta Tahanga. Uh it's spelled with the J Tahanga. Sounds like you were going to Samoa for your burger. Yeah, that's where the closest in and out was to me to go to this place called Tahanga. Sounds very remote. Sounds very remote. Especially back then. But these days, I think Tonga's a pretty nice place these days, I think. Selena will be laughing about you getting a wrinkly curled up wiener. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, that, yeah, I knew it right away. You know when you see your food, 
especially if you know your food, or you know what that is, you know, you've been getting that for years, you know when it comes out not so good. And I knew right away, it just didn't look, it didn't look good. But what am I going to do? Go send a hot dog back? I can't do that. I already got my butt kicked for send, sending the steak back. One take. Have you ever eaten at a place called Pioneer Chicken Fried? Of course. Good old Pioneers. Michael Mack, yes. Plenty of time in the 80s. I've been to Pioneer a lot of times. Pioneer Chicken in LA was a thing in the 80s. There was a couple of series of chicken places that was LA based. I mean, it wasn't as big as KFC, but they had very many locations. It was all thriving until, until Popeyes showed up to LA. Popeyes wasn't here until the mid '80s or so, and that's when places like the Popeyes or uh, no, places like the Pioneer Chickens, a uh, place called Dandy's Chicken, and even like Louisiana, you know, let's like, let's keep it Pioneer Chicken started going like one by one was disappearing by the by the year because of uh, Popeyes was taken over. And I think Popeyes is the one who bought locations because Popeyes was franchised, but it was very like locally franchised. And a lot of Popeyes were owned by Korean Americans living in LA. A lot of the, no, no, let, let me repeat that. A lot of the Pioneer chickens were owned by Koreans, Korean Americans. The Pioneer chickens. Including the last couple of ones that was remaining in LA for a while. There was one on the west side on Olympic and like La Cienega or San Vicente that was operated by Koreans. Actually, she sold it to a Chinese uh, Chinese uh, folks. And then eventually that's not there. There's only, I think, one or two remaining in East LA in like uh, in uh, on Soto in East LA. So there's one remaining. I'm down to go try it. I haven't had... Uh, pioneer in like 20 years there was another one remaining here in silver lake just across the hill over here and that was also owned by i think maybe they're korean and chinese but for sure asians um there's only two yeah and from what i hear it still tastes the same for what it did back then because you know again it was like a franchise franchise but it wasn't like a mcdonald's it was like a very locally kind of franchise so i'm sure their their resources of their ingredients it wasn't like centrally like sent over from like some place that's really corporate corporate so i'm sure they still able to make the same pioneer fried chicken that they did uh back in the days because it's sort of like everything's local um uh, but yeah I'll, you know what I'll be down to go there right now if they're open. Because, you know, I ate all that right there, but I'm still hungry. Well, not hungry, but I still got room. But let's go get some coffee. That just sounds weird. Let's go get some coffee. But uh, I do have to go crunch some numbers. Let's Yeah, that felt like a little coffee would be nice, a little hot. It's, it's chilly here. LA weather, this is cold. For like, for this time of the year, it was, it was raining last night. It's drizzling right now. And I, you know me, guys. Oh, my goodness. I love this little mist. I love it. I love it. So be before it gets too funky, let me go get some coffee. I'm thinking McDonald's. <laughs> I don't know where else to get coffee. And no, I'm not going to go to Starbucks and pay, you know, $10 for coffee. I just need a black coffee. That's all I need. Uh, let's go to McDonald's. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> or, or does, uh, or does, uh, does Burger King have better coffee? I think McDonald's has the best coffee, right? Everyone says, out of the fast food places. All right, let's go find the McDonald's. Let's go. It would be interesting to compare Pioneer Chicken with the Pickney Chickens Popeyes is using. <laughs> oh, uh, the, they're using pigeon meat. Pick me. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, Mike. Oh, you remember that? You know, I totally forgot about that, Mike. About the, uh... <laughs> yeah, that thing... Yeah. That was small, man. I mean, I don't mind. Sometimes they go smaller chicken taste better. And it's more organic. They're not using the growth hormones, this and this and that. But... 
McCafe, McCafe. All right, so let's go to McDonald's. Let's go get some coffee. I just need a large, the biggest size. Do they have free refills? <laughs> let's go hang out at McDonald's, get some McDonald's. And I heard their hash browns are like five bucks in LA now. So I'll do my coffee. I can't do this live stream for nine hours like I usually do. I got to go crunch some numbers. Ah, where's the McDonald's around here? Let's go. Let's go to the one in K-Town. Hey, hey, hey. Or does Taco Bell have a... And this Taco Bell used to be... Man, again, we're talking about these, like, local fast food places in the 80s. There's this one spot that sold, like, uh, Taco Bell-like food and also hamburgers and whatnot. I forgot the name, but that was that location. Because for a while in the 80s, I did live on the street. I lived sort of, like, right here for a second. Uh, and in the 80s, this part right here was a place you didn't want to live. <laughs> this is called the Rampart over here. Rampart. And uh, now it's eased up a little bit. It's cleaned up a lot. But still, to this day, this area, Rampart, it's, it's not really a desirable location. Although, you know, you're technically in K-Town now. But, you know, you, you didn't have cranes living here. There's absolutely no cranes living here anymore. Maybe in the 80s, you had a few. Because, you know... It was just, you know, the situation back then. But again, I'm looking at this street right now. It looks, you know, a lot more plush, a lot safer, this and this and that. But in the 80s, no, no, you didn't want to be messing around here on Rampart. You know what, let me guys, let's get the coffee first and I'll show you what I mean by that. Because if you just go this way towards downtown, just a couple of blocks, let me, we'll show you, it gets very interesting. It's a very interesting area. Um, and again, I used to live over there also at some point. Um, and if I told you the details of where I lived, you guys would be like, what? <laughs> You'd be like, no, R really? No, but let's not go to talk about that. We're going towards, we are in K-Town, but we're going to the heart of K-Town. On the left here, this is a very infamous park. Now they've kind of built different buildings. It looks all kind of bougie over here. All right, but this is Lafayette Park, and this is where they filmed White Man Can't Jump. Scenes, I can't right there, those basketball courts right there. And White Man Can't Jump, during that tournament scene, they filmed it here. It wasn't at Venice Beach. They filmed it here, and uh, I want to say I was there, but I was there the day after when they told me, man, they filmed White Man, or they filmed something the day before with Wesley Snipes and so forth and so forth. I was like, oh, okay, I missed it. But I wasn't there that, that day. Hey, good morning. Good morning, RJ. Welcome back to the channel. Remember, you soon want to try the McChicken with cheese. That's true, Mike. That is very true. Oh, you guys, uh, this Carl's Jr. has been here since the 80s. This is the Carl's Jr. That, you know, they had this sandwich in the 80s. Carl's Jr. did. It was like a McRib, but Carl's Jr. style. I think it was before even the McRib came about, right? Carl's Jr. had it first, and I used to love that. It was kind of a, in a hoagie bun. And, you know, I forgot the details of it, but I think, I think it tasted almost like a McRib. And I love McRibs, guys. I just, I don't eat McRibs all the time, but actually last time I had a McRib was like maybe five years ago or six years ago. And no, I'm not paying $8 for a McRib. No way, Jose. <laughs> so we're, we're in K-Town. This is like the heart of K-Town right here. You know, Korean banks, all Korean businesses left and right. Uh, big old Korean market. This is the... Uh, but this is a city building and uh yeah that's sad to see <sighs> and one of the fa most famous bowling alleys in la is right here it's called chateau 36 lanes which is right here like probably the most well-known bowling lane in la la you know chateau 36 lanes which is right here no my bad it's the chateau 39 lanes now Either they, 
I don't remember it being 39 lanes. Maybe it was always 39, and 36 is just a uh, just a Mandela effect in my mind. And guys, there used to be a rally burger right here. There, there used to be a rally burger, and hang on there, guys. Oops, sorry, sorry about that. There used to be a rally burger. And the rally burger, let's say, opened up in, let's say, year 2000, right? Let's just say. I'm, it opened up in year 2000. And you know what? Let me see if I have McDonald's app. I have some special for the coffee. Hang in there, guys. <laughs> see. Yeah, you got to use the app, you know? Because what happens is... Okay, so there used to be a rally burger that opened up in the year 2000. And this McDonald's has always been here, but it was on a smaller scale, this McDonald's. Within like two years, the rallies disappeared. McDonald's just bought out the rallies and kicked out rallies. If you don't know rallies, rallies is really not an LA thing. For a split second, for about maybe a seven-year duration in the early 2000s, a couple of rallies were popping up. I think it came from the East Coast somewhere. I like rallies. I like rallies. But uh, anyhow, I thought this one location was funny because within two years, I guess the McDonald's just bought it out, plowed it out, and plowed out everything, and this McDonald's just became bigger. But let me see their app. Let me see if I can get a, uh, a special on the coffee. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, but that was one of the craziest things I saw because we, we used to come to those rallies. I'm like, yeah, rallies are new. They had the curly fries back then. And I think they had the curly fries. Oh, I better get in there before these cars. Uh, let me see. No, I don't see a coffee deal, guys. <laughs> All right. See, so, you know, gotta check somehow, right? <laughs> oh, it bothers me that I'm paying for coffee, guys. Move forward. Maybe I should get the coffee inside. Is this side open? Hi, good morning. How can I help you? Yeah, hello. Can I get a large coffee? Pretty much sugar? No, just regular black is fine. Anything else? You have anything larger than large size, like extra large? No. No, that's the largest? Gotcha. That's right. Thank you. Do you have extra grande? <laughs> and not too bad, it's under three bucks. Oof. I'm glad it wasn't five dollars. <laughs> That's where I draw the line for coffee. Uh, oof. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh boy. Guys, this is probably, yeah, for sure, less than five times like paying for coffee in LA. Uh, yeah, man, I, I think I'm, I'm, an, I'm an adult now. You know, drinking coffee in Vegas, 
I think maybe my body's getting like like I mean I've always liked the taste of coffee. I always like coffee, the taste of coffee. But I don't go around drinking coffee, especially go to Starbucks and pay for coffee at Starbucks. Hell no! Hey hey hey! Tell me you want the senior coffee? <laughs> hey, what up, Georgie Porgy? George, I I wish I would have read that earlier. Let me ask him if they could change it up a little bit. In, in Barstool. Damn, everyone's doing well snug in bed, huh? Hey, hey, hey. Yes. Do you have a senior citizen price? No. No? For the small yes. <laughs> Thank you. For the large one. No. I can get the hug, McDonald's hug, and get the coffee. Oh, really? Oh, I got a question for you. If I if I down it, can I get a refill? Yes. I one could. Time. One time, I could come and get a refill. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh, cool. Thank you. Oh, it smells, hey guys, it smells roasty. So let's go cruise around. I'm gonna come back for a refill. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Wait, do we even need to cruise around? Let me enjoy this coffee in peace. You know what, this is a tricky way to get out. Yeah, this is very tricky. You know what, let me focus here. Like a blind spot. Yeah, that's, that's not a very safe exit there. Hey, hey, hey. You know what? Okay. Ah, 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 don't, oh, whew. That's hot coffee, guys. Oh, whew, whew. Oof. That could have been dangerous. Dangerous. All right, y'all. Let's go to the park. Um, hey, hey, hey. This is a chateau park over here. And uh, yeah, man, like I used to come here a lot in the year 2000. It's interesting, the dynamic here, because, you know, it felt a lot more dangerous back back, back then here. But then we didn't have all this stuff here. Like all the homeless situation or the tents. There's no way. There's no sidewalk space here. We, we didn't have all that. We had a couple of homeless kind of like hiding out once in a while here and there. But Again, I mean, it, it doesn't feel, I mean, not that I felt danger back then, but for sure, systematically, it was more of a dangerous situation. What am I trying to do here, guys? I don't know. I'm going to just drink some coffee. I guess the park is not open because they do have a basketball gym in here, but it's too early. Huh? It's, oh, it's 7 o'clock? Oh, yeah, it is way too early. I need to go to, I need to, go to sleep. All right, what am I trying to do? I'm just trying to sip on some coffee, man. That's all I'm trying to do, to sip on some coffee. And then I, I got to go crunch some numbers. What am I really trying to do? Oh, that staff parking? You know what? <laughs> Don't ask what I'm doing, guys. I, I just want to find a... I just want to find a spot to park. Oh, we should have... I was like, let me go to the... Uh... Oh, the tennis players are going to start showing up. There's there's a tennis court over there. Um, they're the ones who come here early. And, and the Filipino basketball players. I don't know about these days, but traditionally, they're the first ones. They're, they're at the basketball courts at like 7 a.m. They meet at 7 a.m. to play basketball. Like outdoors, gyms. I don't know if they play outdoors these days. I'm probably not sure if they do or not. But Filipinos, 
on the weekends, Sundays and Saturdays, man, they're out there playing basketball at 7 a.m. So she told me it's cheaper to get the coffee at the uh, through the app. Maybe you get, you, you get a few cents off. And I did ask her about the senior price, and she goes, only the small size, not the large size. But senior coffee is a real thing, huh? Hey, what up, Mud? Hey, what up, Max? Damn, you guys are up early, guys. No, I guess you're in the East Coast with Max, man. Max, when do you sleep, Max? Or Max is maybe... Well, I think Max is Filipino too, right? Max is Filipino. Filipinos, generally, they're early birds. Filipinos wake up early, man. The Filipinos, <laughs> they're morning per people, many of them. Especially these basketball players. I'm going to tell right now. I'm going to take you some of these basketball spots right now. I bet you, well, it's raining. Maybe they won't be playing outside because it's raining, because it's slippery. But for sure, when I used to play basketball, I, I stopped playing in year 2016. Uh, I should have stopped playing around, you know, 2012. But yeah, back then, even before, anytime you go, any of these courts that play, you know, have basketball players, Philippines, like 10 on, like five on five, like 20 of them on a court playing basketball. Hey, 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 guys, I'm going to have some coffee. I'll shut the hell up for a second. In the year 2000, in the year 2000, what you know about that mud? Sorry, guys. I, I was, uh, I was smelling this and my nose is drooling. <laughs> it's chilly for LA. It's 50 degrees, guys. 50 degrees in LA right now. It's it's like if 50 degrees in LA in a situation like this feels like you know like 30 degrees anywhere else. Oh, this is hot. To go. It's hot. Premium roast. Not bad. Three bucks. Oh yeah, masters is on. Oh, you're right. Let me turn on the masters for a second. Yeah, you know what? You're you're right. Let me turn on the masters. I mean, I think I got Shawfle. Hopefully, Shawfle pulls it off. He's the only one that's left on my docket, Shawfle. But you know, I'm rooting for Colin Murakawa. Colin is a boy, local boy here. He's from a place called La Kenyatta High School, and that's where I used to work my Pizza Hut back in the days in La Kenyatta. Uh, Colin Murakawa, he goes to the, uh, he trains, he grew up playing the golf course that I mention all the time. It's a little baby course, but it's a beautiful course. And uh, hopefully I got to show you guys that beautiful course, but the connection up there is not good. It's all the way up in the hills, so I can't really show you that. But Colin Murakawa and his swing coach, I don't know if they're, yeah, his swing coach still teaches over there. Oh, guys, this is extra, like, hot in temperature. Like, I'm going to burn myself. I thought McDonald's learned their lesson. They're not supposed to serve coffee this hot. All right, let me see. I'm going to put on the masters. So, Tiger shot, like, five, six over yesterday, right? That's how he ended. Let me see. How do you turn on the masters uh, browser? Masters. Bam, right there, Gina. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, my, you know what? My headlights are on. Ah, don't start the process all over again. Okay, there you go. 
Guys, hang in there. I want to turn on the masters just in case. Shaffle, uh, Scotty Scheffler, Murakawa, Holma. Is Shaffle in it? No, Shaffle's not in it, huh? No, he's minus two. He's in striking distance at minus two. He's in striking distance. Although I don't see Scotty falling. I think the winning score will be like. I think that's going to be the winning score. Six minus six. And man, I mean, I, I mean, Homa, Max Homa is also a local boy. He's, you know, from Santa Clarita. Murakawa is closer to LA, closer to my situation. It's interesting because both Murakawa and Homa, they both grew up playing the similar type of golf course, very small, short golf courses. You got to be accurate with the irons and very just short courses. They're not long courses and they're public courses. Murakawa and Homa. They're both owned by uh, American Golf, operated by American Golf right now. They're short courses. All right, watch live. What up, guys? Good morning, guys. Who's in here? Let's do let me, McDonald's coffee. Conan was the best back then. Hey, Mud. Yeah, yeah, Conan. Yeah, Conan was uh Conan was good, especially in his uh, original NBC days. I mean, later on, I'll be honest, I, I lost contact with uh, Conan a little bit later on, but especially in his ish initial days with Max Weinberg. Um, I need to turn on the volume. Damn, is this today? Is this going on right now? Oh, it is 10 o'clock over there, huh? If anyone knows how to blow this up all the way, let me know because I I still I don't know how to do it. <laughs> is this for Tiger? Wow, look at this. This is crazy, man. the 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 amount of group that he has, Tiger, right now, will be will be bigger than the final group. I mean, you know, essentially, what I'm, you know, you get what I'm saying, right? I'm sure they'll stick around. Boom, boom, boom. But for them, for for this to be. That much people watching this Tigers group, right? That's amazing. This much, what hole is this? All right, I'll shut the hell up. Hey, hey, hey. Damn, guys, this is too hot right now. All right, don't be a chicken. Yeah, this is crazy hot. I mean, it's, it ain't no flat white that I make at Aurea. Man, I think that's the best coffee. <laughs> the, flat, the flat white I make, and I put more coffee in there to like kind of, you know, bold it up. Man, that coffee's good. Because when I go to Starbucks in Vegas, I do get a flat white, and then I get extra shots of whatever latte or whatever they put in. I don't even know what a latte is. Or espresso shots. I would just, I would just say, hey, can you put a, can you make a flat white, but put in like four ounces of just regular coffee in there? I think that's the instruction I want to give next time for the free coffee at the Starbucks. Conan was the best in the year two thousand. Max, what does that emoji mean? The one that looks like a hand ready to pinch someone. <laughs> I was dozing and opened up my phone, and one tick appeared, stuffing his face. It was a chili burger at six a.m. Yes, I was. Morning, just woke up. Good morning, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Georgie Porgy, tell them you want a senior coffee. I did. They said you got to be medium or small size. Any, oh man, I need a donut. Mike. In Barstool, they have two sausages and eggs for six bucks. Yes. In LA, they got that special, I think as well, for $6. Two for a uh, sausage. You know what? That sound, sounds like a move at this point. You know those sausage, egg, and be the the McMuffins. I like to put the uh, jelly in it, so it becomes like a uh, almost like a dessert with egg and sausage. Ah, oh, should we go do that? Oh, I messed up. I wish I would have read that earlier.
Rand Jones. Make chicken, make cafes better. Hey, hey, hey. Shoffley and Homa were my picks. McDonald's coffee is all always almost boiling when you get it. I usually take the lid off at first to cool it down. You know what? That's what I need to do. You know, I thought they'd learn their lesson from getting that lawsuit. Remember that lawsuit where the lady burned her legs and she sued and got paid millions of dollars? And they reduced the temperature of these coffee since then. But I guess it's still hot. It's hot. It's piping hot, guys. And I drink hot tea all the time. So I, I, I have a good judgment on this. But this one's piping hot. Oh, what? Tiger's three under? To start the, this round, huh? Hey, hey, hey. So the only one off my... Uh... Ooh, no, Tiger. That's old age right there, man. Your nerves go. And that's what starts happening. Kind of like that kind of stuff. But the only one that has I have any chances is uh, Shafle, Xander, and I don't think he's gonna. For Xander, yeah, you know what? Xander could get hot, dude. That guy, his putting, um, the winning score will will be I think minus six. The winning score. All right. I think playing even par would get Morikawa a victory here. Playing even par. Oh, man. Come on, Colin. Let's go. Hey. What up, guys? Don't burn your tongue. McDonald's coffee is always almost boiling hot. Oh, I'm caught up? All right, let me down this stuff. Although, man, I do wish I had a donut with me right now. There's a donut shop. Very famous donut shop. It's one of the first like the original great donut shop story in la you know because donut shops in the 80s and 70s were started by cambodians and this one was one of the original ones that set the example of getting the word out that hey guys start a donut shop you can make a lot of money donut shop back in the 80s uh this was one of the first ones you know what let's go let's go get one I might have been there for a live stream before uh, called California Donuts. Now, they've turned a little bougie these days. In the last, like, six years, they they went, like, internet viral, and now they're workers and this and this and that. They It's, a, it's totally different from, like, the small family-run feel that they had, the donut sh shop back in the days. But uh, Did that happen just now? No, that's, that's a rewind, huh? Yeah, they're not going off for another couple hours, the leaders. Is Tiger still competing after his car accident? Not really. He's physically beat up. Yeah, he's... he's. I mean, he made the cut, Mike Campbell. He's in the Masters. He's playing right now, but he made the cut, but he's not in any contention to win. And just for him to be in this situation, making the cut at the Masters, says a lot about his skill set and his mindset but i don't his body is just so messed up it is just so messed up and you think playing golf is sort of like a da -da 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 situation but no golf guys to walk you got because you got to walk all these elevation changes uphill downhill it's basically you're going hiking for four or five days and you're probably walking like close to five miles a day and it does take a toll on the body and uh Yeah, you know, guys, this coffee alone feels empty. Because I'm usually drinking the, drinking the coffee with something like a little bit on the sweeter side. You know, maybe a little something, donut, or this, or this, and that. Just drinking this just feels like something is off. Because I, you know, I don't add anything to the coffee. I just drink it as it comes. Sort of like that Nirvana song. Come as you are, as you were, as a... Is he going to make this? Let's go, Tiger. 
he's been missing all his putts to the right. Like his aim point, his eyesight is always to the right on this tournament. He's always missing it on this side. And let's see. See? Yeah, he's always missing that side for this tournament, everything. So I think his like his alignment, his eyes are a little bit off. Because most of his misses, I've noticed, they're all on this side. Even the straight putts, he's missing on the right edge. I've seen him do... Oh, damn. Today he's... Wow. Okay. Even par. Yeah. Missing. I wish there's a bet to place on, like, his future putts. Like, will he miss it to the right? Miss it to the left? You know, I would go all in on the right. Like, <laughs> unless he starts over... By the, you know what? If I place that bet... And there's really a bet for that, and I place it. I bet you he's gonna at that point overcompensate and start missing all the way to the left because that's what players do. Because you're trying to overcompensate that uh, line of sight. But yeah, he's been missing everything to the right. They should let him use a cart. Yeah, Max, I agree with you. But you know, Tiger, Tiger was against that back in the days when that was a point of contention. And, you know, his military mind's not going to give that up, you know. And I respect that. You know, I don't think, I think many of the people will, won't have a problem with the, him using a cart. But it, once he uses it, you know, that's an open gate for anything. And uh, the one thing, one thing I have to give Tiger some credit to, although, you know, you know, he didn't have the integrity with his wife. He does have integrity within the golf compounds. Ooh, yeah, I mean, Ch Char there's only two routes for Charlie. There's only two routes for people who, you know, grew up in such a circumstance. E either he's going to be a goat this way, or he he's going to have the biggest, you know, F up, <laughs> like in life. You know what I mean? There there's no middle grounds for some child who grew up like that, right? Because he's chasing this, and... There's gonna be a there's gonna be a moment in that kid's life. He's not a you know kid kid anymore, but there's gonna be a point in his life where he's gonna be like, "Whoa, I'm not good enough for this," and it's gonna be the most disappointing situation for him. And, it, and, it, and who knows how he'll digest that? And if he doesn't digest it correctly, it's a very thin road. He's gonna go off the path this way. Hopefully, he doesn't, you know, go off the rails. You know what I mean? Hopefully, but it'll be such a hard situation for him to overcome if that happens. Hopefully, you know, hopefully he at least makes it to the PGA, at least. But there's only two routes for that guy. Greatness or greatness this way. Hey, hey, hey. Because that swing is ridiculous, Charlie's swing. Ridiculous. Ah, ooh. Now, this is turning out perfect right now, temperature. It's hot enough to feel going down the throat, but it's not scorching it. It's just giving that little burn going down. Do you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. This is sort of like drinking Louis XIV right now. Or is it Louis XIII? You know, you drink it down and you feel that heat going down your throat to, your, to the top of your chest. Hey, hey, hey. You know what? I might go back and ask for a refill. Yeah, I might go. She said I could have one refill. <laughs> Wait, Charlie, until... Do you think his son will be a contender? You know, percentages-wise, just probability says no. Just mathematically says no. Um, just mathematically. But if you got to account for the situation... I mean, there's no way I'll be surprised if he's going to make it to the, you know, he's set up to make it to the PGA. But again, you never know. You know, there's so many variables out there. You know, one day kids could like this one thing forever. And then the very next minute, you know, it's happened to me. I'm sure it's happened to all of us. The very next minute you go, what the hell? <laughs> I can't believe I like that, you know? And, but for sure the for sure his son is gonna go face a lot of hurdles a lot of personal obstacles internally externally or i'll shut the hell up i think you all know what i'm saying 
Do you know what I mean? Hey, hey, hey. So, we wait and watch for fame or infamy. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, because tr traditionally speaking, and this applies for just, uh, you know, any sports. You know, any, any sports. Yeah, there's been father-son combos that's come into the sports. But I've never seen a situation where... With the exception of ex exception of few, but some of the greatest players, their sons never even make it to their respective sports, right? For example, like look at look at you know Michael Jordan, look at Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. These are the goats that we're talking about, right? The goats, like you would think they have sons, you would think they're gonna get somewhere like that, but no, no, no not even close. Um, and those who do make it generally are from from sports fathers who were just kind of middle middle of the road you know think you know stephen curry's father think michael thompson you know clay thompson's father think you know uh, gary payton actually yeah gary, well, gary payton a little bit different but again their kids usually all right, i'll shut the hell up Get the refill and add it to your tally of hustled foods and the steak from Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> oh, by the way, I ate the leftover from Texas Roadhouse. The bone on the meat or meat on the bone. Boom, boom, boom. I ate that. I even ate the, the rolls that they had and the butter, that little cinnamon butter, which is delicious. I microwaved it for a little bit and put it in there as a dessert. It was delicious. Um, yeah, I'm still wondering. I did send the steak back. Um, yeah, I got to verify because, yes, they said one of the, someone called in and paid for it. Initially, I thought they were just kind of wiping it off because they made that mistake with the steak. I thought. I wasn't quite sure what the hell was going on. It was loud in there. A lot of stuff was going on in there. And I was just trying to live stream and make a TikTok video on the side. So I don't know what was going on. But for a while, I was sort of deserted there from the service but you know they're so busy overwhelmed i guess it just it is what it is but again i've never sent the steak back before uh so i didn't know how to quite handle it anyhow um yeah they said someone called in and paid for it so i'm guessing it's it's got to be selena right or, or grandma it's got to be her but i haven't had a chance to fully discuss it John Daly, one of my favorites, he's a character. Oh, John Daly is a character, and his son is sort of on that cusp right now. He's encountering that area that we just spoke of because his son is, I think, maybe college years, like 21 or 22 maybe, his son. Maybe like 20. I, I forgot his son's age. But son was one of those, you know, he excelled as a junior golfer. Uh probably he has more golf accolades at the same age as Tiger's son, at his age, uh, John Daly's son. So anyhow, long story short, I'm sure John Daly's son right now is going through that path. Like, will he be here? And, you know, his gene record tells us that if he goes down this road, like, you know, John Daly's son might be even more of a wild card if he goes down this right, way, right? Because, uh, yeah, because John Daly, he's he's chaotic, right? Is he a water sign, as uh, Selena would say? Because Selena thinks every water sign who's a dude is chaotic. Hey, 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 chaos. Yeah, J John Daly, it, he's a, an American icon from Arkansas to, to for him to break the golf scene the way he did and it's such a historic kind of a rocky Balboa way right out of nowhere basically as a fill-in of a fill-in of a fill-in to go in there and kind of win the major <laughs> it's like what the hell and then people were like skeptic about it and guess what he did it again not just on anywhere in the in, in the championship over in Europe. Did he do, did he win at St Andrews? 
Where did he win at? Jeez, John Daly. That just tells you what amount of raw talent that guy possessed. Like, for him to be that big and, you know, long John, but for him to have that soft hands, you know, the, the short game. All right, I'll shut up. He's a big dude, guys. John Daly's a big dude. VJ Singh is a big, big guy. And I remember running into also uh, uh, Davis Love, the third. Davis Love. Davis Love has one of the most weird bodies I've ever seen. He's tall, he's lanky, but his shoulders are this wide. Like, it's funny. Like, how he, he's just like, I don't know. It's weird. It's very, he's like that character on um, Mike Tyson's Punch Out, like Flamingo Joe. <laughs> Never mind. I, <laughs> he was on the golf course the other day, barefoot, with a bottle of vodka, smoking cigs, driving his golf cart. John Daly is one of my favorite character actors, but I don't know John. Oh, Tim Daly. Who the hell is Tim Daly? Was that on the tournament day? Damn, John. Good old John Daly, man. Incredible story. Oh, what happened? Guys, I can't believe... I actually can't believe... I finished all that. Uh, I, I, I Man, I don't know why I ate the hot dog. The hot dog was uh, crumpled up. But the fries, I'm, I'm, man, the question is, do I really go back for a refill? Do I really do it? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Oh, no, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I, I, I should get some sleep. I, I got to crunch numbers. Hey, guys. If I get this refill coffee, can I microwave coffee or is that messed up to do? Because <laughs> I'm not trying to drink the coffee right now, but I just want to get a refill in case I want to microwave it when I wake up. I'm, I have to go to sleep, guys. I want I got to wake up. Probably sleep for like three hours. That would be good. I don't think I've ever done that microwaved coffee. <laughs> it's just a thought, guys. I mean, you know, I can't, I can't leave money on the table right here. You know, I paid big bucks for this. Three bucks? Let's go get some refuel. <laughs> and maybe if I go in there, maybe I'll indulge in getting a uh, the two Egg McMuffins for $6. Maybe. Wow, Mike, Mike, you, you're, you're, I don't know what kind of influence this is because, you know, those donuts that I got the other day, the sugar donuts, I had three sugar twists and one of the sugar jellies. You know, I think that's my, you know, the weekly intake for donuts. I mean, because my body will tell me, like my body will guide me. And right now, Mike, I'll be honest with you. I want it. But my body, it's like really not calling for it. I think my body had enough uh, of donut intake for the week. Because I know later on today, I want to meet up with my buddy uh, later on today. At, yeah, uh, and then I'm, I'm sure I'll be getting some donuts or something later on. But right now, Mike, this early morning, yeah, my body's not calling for a donut. Hey, hey, is it golden, golden, wow, everyone's awake so early, guys, what the hell, hey, 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 S Selena, 
we were just talking about the Texas Roadhouse. I don't know. Am I, will I, maybe I don't want to be like I'm calling you out or anything. But speaking of calling out, were you the one who called Texas Roadhouse? You called them? Because uh, there's so much commotion going on during that time. It was so loud in there. I wasn't fully clear aware what was going on. But it sounded like they said that someone called in and took care of the bill is what they said. Initially, I thought they're just, you know, not charging me because I had to send the steak back. I was sort of like kind of thrown off a little bit, but yeah, yeah. And then I was drinking that thing and I'm still trying to figure out the price for that beverage for the margarita because it only said $3 for the add-in, but I'm still curious on how much the beverage was, <laughs> the margarita. All right. I don't want to call. I don't know. I sound like I'm isolating her. You can microwave the McMuffins. Oh yeah. The <laughs> All right, guys, let me go get this refill because uh, I'm being inspired to go back and getting a refill on this. Cause, oh, it's I just got a microwave in a in another cup. Huh? Do not microwave, guys. Hey, hey, hey. We caliente. You know, guys, what's my next move as an adult? Do, do I start adding cream and sugar? Do I add cream at least into coffee? What do I do, guys? Because, you know... I don't mind the taste of coffee like this. So straight up, I actually, I actually like the little bitter taste that kind of is there at the end. You know, at least I don't know, guys. Am I turning into an adult drinking coffee like this? Paying for coffee? Oh my goodness! I'm paying. I paid three bucks for coffee, guys. It's not like ninety five cents. It's three bucks. Hey. Oh, is Tiger leaving? Oh, he's withdrawing, guys. Is he done? I mean, if you hit a provisional... Oh, he's going to hit a provisional? It should be for one out of bounds, one unplayable. Oh, he's going to hit a provisional. He lost his ball, huh? Back in 2001, Phil Mickelson was in a playoff at Torrey Pines. And oh, he, he lost his ball. That's interesting. This, guys, what's happening here very rarely happens in professional golf. Asking, demanding people not to go look for his golf ball. I believe nobody found it, and he won that playoff with a double bogey. But he was begging volunteers not to go in there and find the ball. Uh, His provisional was in the middle of the fairway, and he was in a good position. Uh, and he knew there was no chance, even if they did find it, that he, could, that he was going to hit it. Uh, this is very rare that this happens in professional golf, because usually they'll hit this thing called... First of, all, you'll, first of all, in professional golf, losing your ball is almost like hard to do because of all the cameras and people. But this this is a rule in golf where if you lose your ball, you're supposed to come back and hit another one. You know, a lot of amateurs will, will just drop it there and hit another one. But you're supposed to come back. But but in real tournament in, in situation, you're supposed to hit what you call a professional ball, a provisional ball. If you think your ball is lost, so you save time. Because if this happens in real golf course, in a public golf course, and you see people coming back to hit their golf ball, they'll be like, what the hell? Why are you holding this up? You should have hit a provisional before you went out there. So anytime you feel like your ball is lost, technically you're supposed to tee off again and hit a provisional golf ball. All right, I'll shut the hell up. Jeez. Try an Americano. Iced or hot at Starbucks sometime. No. Oh, I'll do that in Vegas if, you know, for my free drinks in Vegas. <laughs> but never, no, no, I will, I, will, I will not do that in L.A., and, and and no, no no Starbucks. This is my limit right here, three bucks. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Although I've never done this either. A large coffee from McDonald's. Hey, hey, hey. My favorite coffee beverage so far is the thing I make over at Aria with the flat white and I add some uh, coffee into it. Oh, that's my favorite so far, guys, like by far. A flat, flat white. And I, I don't even know what flat white really means. Oh, I mean, I know what it means, but I don't know what it means in terms of the beverage. But the flat, flat white. And then on the side, I add a little uh, coffee into it. Ooh, perfect combo. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, Selena, I, I started off my morning. I was, uh, 
I fell asleep around 1 a.m. and woke up around like 3.30 a.m. I guess my body thought I was in Vegas. I woke up, you know, because that's the time I like to roam in Vegas, right? Around 3 a.m., you know, to like 10 a.m. I guess my body was like, maybe, I don't know. I just woke up and I was like, oh. And then I was like, oh, man, I, I, I want to eat something. And I'm like, you know what? Let me see if Tommy's is offering one of their like Facebook specials because once in a while they'll do like every once a month they'll offer like you know buy one burger get one free or you know buy one burger for like buy a burger for three bucks or whatever right so their special this time was you get a double chili cheeseburger for 350 or you get a chili cheese hot dog for 350 or you get a chili cheese tamale for 350 which is an awesome deal right because normally those are almost eight dollars each for the for the double burger uh, so at that point i'm like all right i guess i gotta go out there and i you know the, the one that's open 24 hours is the original location near k-town so i was like all right let's go you know just you know it's it was like drizzling drizzling a little bit it was like you know co kind of cold weather situation so you know for me i like to go out in in situations like this so i went out got there around like 5 30 5 45 and that's how this live stream started happening i was like you know what i'm the only one here at the original shake tommy's location which never is the case back in the days tommy's would never be like i'm the only one there it would always be people there at tommy's especially at the original location all right that's how i ended up here i have to go crunch numbers though guys so i have to go pretty soon <laughs> unless you guys want to see me crunch numbers Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't want to see any crunch numbers. And plus, I got to use my phones to crunch numbers. Oh, the Aria machine. Flat white at Starbucks is good too. Is the flat white an Australian drink? I should, man, yeah, that's where I discovered flat white from Starbucks when I was there. I was in line and I was at Rio. I was about to check out and, you know, drive out. And, you know, I had a couple of, you know, diamond drinks left or Cinderella drinks left. And I went to Starbucks to use it. And I just asked the, I asked the, uh, the, the barista. I was like, you know, hey, uh, got a question for you. I want a coffee-like drink that has effects of a coffee. However, I want something that's not sweet. Uh, that's not, I think that's what I specified. Nothing too sweet. Boom, boom, boom. She goes, yeah, there's, I'll make you a thing called flat white. I'm like, okay, cool. Sounds good enough. And she gave it to me. I don't know. It looked white. I don't know what was in there, but I was just drinking it. I, I liked it. It almost tasted like warm milk, kind of, with some essence of coffee. Anyhow, so I've gone to other places and asked for flat white. They don't really know what it is. They said you got to have this special machine to make flat whites. So I'm like, cool. But when I see it at the MGM machines, at the rooms like that, the VIP rooms at the MGM, and Aria is one of them, uh mgm grand has one also in the mansion uh mansion room inside not the room mansion coffee area they have that same machine where you have the flat white decision but yeah boom flat white add a little bit of coffee in there Ooh, that was a money move initially i didn't even think about adding coffee into that but one of the attendants in there she was like you know what you like the, that stuff she goes come try this and she put it in for me the regular coffee in there into it i was like whoa now that was what i was looking for because i wanted more of that coffee flavor inside whatever that is uh it's just a perfect balance of sweetness i don't know if there's any sweetness in there I, i'm pretty sure there's maybe a little bit but when i drink it i don't really taste the sweetness it just softens it up with the cream i think is what's going on hey 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 I'm about to down this. I'm going to go get a refill, though. <sighs> ah, the iron flat fight. Celine, he said he needs to sleep and crunch numbers. So I presume the chili burger and wrinkly, crumped up chili dog, he scarfed. <laughs> scarfed. I did scarf it down. <laughs> We're at the end of the... Yes. Ah, the one take sleep schedule. Were numbers crunched? And did you go to the dentist yet? No, I didn't go to the dentist yet. But man, I'm at that weird point at this point. Point of no return. For me to get an appointment and get that done, I think I have to just wait till... I, I just hope on the cruise 
nothing kind of falls out on the cruise. That, because I, at this point, I, I, if I can't go to the dentist right now, I'm too far into this red zone right now. Um, did I crunch numbers? I crunched half of my numbers. I'm not fully crunched there. I was supposed to meet, you know, my CPA yesterday, but you know, it rained. So we're like, okay, we'll, we'll meet today. Uh, so I have, I should, I should, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how I feel. And then maybe I'll take a nap before I crunch some numbers. Do you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. Mike, you got to roll call all your favorite streams sometime. But I've only ever watched this one and Vegas Police. Ah, uh, just read Mike's message. Those numbers haunt me. Those numbers haunt me. Hey, hey, hey. I ran into Tater on free... What? In Urban's AZ live stream. Oh, okay. I thought you meant you, you, you saw Tater... At Fremont Street. I'm like, damn, Mike, you're in Vegas and you didn't even let us know? In Urban AZ's... I don't know Urban AZ. Can microwave. I think you stay. Oh, one take. Did you stay up all night or wake up early? I think I answered that, huh? I, I fell asleep around 1 a.m. just to take a little nap. And then woke up at like, uh, I think I explained that, huh? Hey, appreciate the thumbs up. Hey, hey, hey. A lot of my friends have given up flat whites because dairy is bad for the skin as we get older. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, you, you know, I do substitute milk for a uh, substitute. Like, I guess they say oat milk, but I guess that's milk also. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, you know, but I, you know, yeah. Yeah, skin. Yeah, I mean, I, I, in my case, it, it just, I just do what I do. I guess I got to do what I do. Wow, Mike, you got a roll call. All your favorite live streams. But I've only watched this one in Vegas Poly C. Because uh, Selena says, men or guys who are water signs are chaotic, she says. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I love McDonald's coffee. Oh, interesting. Oat milk, carb, sugar spike. If it doesn't hurt, no need for dentist ASAP. You floss so much anyways. You know, there is discomfort. I don't want to say pain per se, but it is painful if I chew accordingly like a normal guy or a normal person. So I adjust the chewing so it doesn't hurt. There is discomfort. There's something going on. That's for sure. <laughs> but at this point, again, I'm in point of no, no, this, no, no return. You know, I'm going to keep flossing though. Do you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. Check with the cruise line. They might have a list of emerging deaths in each port of call. Yeah, probably. What up, Mike? Hey, hey, hey. All right. About to down this. Let's get a refill. Actually, do I really need a refill? It's just coffee, huh? Do I want a refill? It's interesting. When I drink coffee like this, I don't know. People say it, it makes you awake. It wakens you or this and this. For me, right now, I'm drinking this. It makes you want to just kind of go to sleep. It's relaxing, kind of. And it just makes me want to go kind of knock out a little bit. Maybe that's the move. Let me get a refuel. But I do. I better start crunching some numbers, though, because I can't push it till tomorrow. Tomorrow's the deadline, right? And I've already kind of played this uh, procrastination card. Because I'll be honest, I had plenty of time to crunch numbers, man. I'm just, I'm just in this little, in this 
in the situation the last couple like about a month where i'm just kind of like ah. i guess you know because every year you know we all need a little vacation i guess i'm in my mind is in vacation mode although i don't know if i'm at or although i don't know if i am in vacation i don't know if i've ever taken a vacation i don't know what vacation means guys uh, just don't let it turn into needed root canal that's happened to me so much. Pack Tylenol and Advil. Oh, I've got I, I have one root canal so far, and I had it done about uh, about twenty five years ago, around the year. I got it in the year two thousand. In the year two thousand, and I remember my dentist. It was like somewhere in Cape Town. I was looking for a deal, and I went in there, and like, it was this, it was this chick. <laughs> a latina chick she had blonde hair she looked like shakira and uh she had this shakira accent <laughs> and then i guess she it looked like she just came out of dental school she had this office maybe it was her first office but it was my first concept my dentist previous to that was back in like 1988 so do the math there what 12 years previous to that and that was at this random Korean place with one Korean guy having one office, one seat type of situation, right? This one, I was sitting there. She came around, boom, boom, boom. And then she left and she comes back, boom, boom, boom. And then she leaves and she comes around. She goes, boom, boom, boom. So I'm finding out that she's working multiple patients on multiple rooms. She's just rotating around. Like a man. I mean, the way she operated, I'm sure she, she made a lot of good money. She was a hustler, I guess, you know. But anyways, that root canal that I have, it's still like intact, still decent, I guess. People say the root canals only last X amount of days, your crowns or whatever. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know, but long story short, it's still here. Let me knock on some wood. Don't want to jinx myself and talking about this kind of stuff. And let me throw this out. What was that? But this current situation, oh my, look at this, guys. You can't see it, huh? just beautiful like the, the it's like a it's like a golden shower <laughs> okay not a golden shower but golden morning shower it's like a mist very misty man i could be out here all day it is chilly though for la standards it's 50 degrees but it feels like 20 degrees do you know what i'm saying hey 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 oh man i hate this i need to go uh I need to get some, uh, I should take a little nap. I gotta go crunch numbers. You know, since I'm, since I'm a big YouTube sensation now, my, uh, <laughs> crunching numbers is a little bit more tricky. Do you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> uh, just don't let it turn into a needed root canal. Too late for that, I think, golden girl. But we'll see how it goes. Max, are you immune to coffee? Yes, Selena. Does nothing for me unless I haven't had any in a while. I sleep on coffee. <laughs> yeah, Mike, that's what I'm feeling right now. It's like, it, yeah, maybe I'm, yeah, coffee don't do nothing. I just drink it so I could have my dessert. Because I love that taste contrast and the temperature contrast between like, you know, having a little pastry or a donut, especially at Aria. And then to offset that little bit of sweetness... With the coffee, it just it's just it's a beautiful combo for me that I learned in Vegas. Yeah, and I'll only do in Vegas because it's free. <laughs> There's no such thing as free in life, right? Free. <laughs> but when there are offers on the table that are free, for example, my case here. I could go get a free refill right now. She said I could come back and get one re free refill. I got that clarity in the drive-thru. She thought I was like, what the hell is wrong with this Korean boy? Because initially someone said ask for a senior price. So I asked her, I'm like, hey, can I get a, do you have a, I asked her, do you have a senior price? And she's all, you know, not for your size, only for the small size there's for senior. But she goes, hey, if you want, on, on online, on app, it's cheaper. On, on the app, she says, for this. 
I don't know what the price differential is. Oh, I like this guy. Now, this is a hustler here. Don't ever play against a man who, who practices their short game. And this gentleman right here, he's taken his uh, golf club and he's, he has a series of balls. He's going to do uh, some short game practicing in the back. Now, that is a dude you do not want to put money against because uh, that's where the money comes out, the short game. You know what they say, drive for show, putt for dough. Okay, I don't want to explain what that means, but let's shut the hell up. Well, that, that is cool. So he's going to just go to a random one of those you know green area and just chip around, which is very rare for you to see. Usually they'll do that at the golf course somewhere in the practice areas, but never on a, like a park situation. Out of all my years going to parks, I've probably never seen that. I did that a few times, and I felt weird doing it. But yeah, this man is doing his thing. Hey, hey, hey. Does nothing for me. Yeah. Selena, you might enjoy Up, Up, and Our Ways channel. Melissa and Enrique live in Ventura County, but drive to Vegas and live stream every second weekend. Michael Pihan, Omnivore's Dilemma made me periodically give up caffeine with his deep dive article. Oh wait, I've seen Up, Up, Our Way for Vegas NYE when I was there. Oh, Golden Girl, you were in Vegas for New Year's Eve, huh? Man, guys, was I in Vegas for New Year's Eve? I think I might have been in Vegas. Y yes, I was in Vegas for New Year's Eve as well. I spent time for a little bit with our one of our uh, viewers here. Uh, microwave, Mr. Hang Hang, invited me to a New Year's Eve uh, drinking and food situation over at Mirage. Thank you, Microwave. I That was very fun. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. I'm gonna STH now. Have a good Sunday, everyone. Shake the spot. All right, Golden Girl. Catch you later. Guys, what does HSTH mean? STH. Shake the. I thought I was gonna say shake the spot. STP sounds actually. You know what? STP, STS. Shake the spot. STS. I want to STS right now. Now that sounds cool. HTH. HTH. I don't know. That can't even roll out of my mouth. HTH. No, STH. Shake the. Hey, hey, hey. Michael Mack. Love Enrique's sense of humor. Michael Mack. I watched that channel up, up, and away, Mike Campbell. Ooh, I've seen up, up, away. HTH? I'm gonna something now. No, I don't know. What does HTH mean? No, STH. I'm curious what that means. A -A STH. I don't want to Google it either. Shh. I'm, I'm gonna shower now? No. Not shower, that doesn't make sense. I'm gonna sh I shake the shake the hole. <laughs> All right, she's not gonna shake the hole. Was Carl Bob Dingle live with his mother in Sedona? They are odd characters and wacko if things turn politics, but interesting streams from Vegas. Sedona and cruise ships. Was Carl's Jr. founded in Orange County? Uh, I know Carl's Jr. started in L.A. somewhere. He had a little hot dog kiosk and then streamlined that into something. Carl's, um, you know, I'm quite not sure if it started out here in Orange County or not. Carl Jr. I feel like he started in somewhere in the downtown area somewhere. But then I could be off on that. Oh, Carl's is from Anaheim. Mm, good old Carl's Jr. Carl's. 
the, the great Western cheeseburger. That's one of my last meal items. Carl's Jr., uh, the Western bacon cheeseburger. All right, I want to go get one more refill on this. And let's see if, if they'll give me a refill. All right, let's see if let's see how difficult it'll be for me to get a refill. Or at McDonald's, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Man, I love these uh the Jeep trucks. Look really cool. Prices on these went down, right? The Jeep trucks. I wish they just get better gas mileage. That's a nice toilet paper, by the way. So the Koreans are here playing tennis. And the Filipinos usually are in the back playing outdoor basketball but maybe it's raining and so forth and so forth maybe they're playing you know pool instead <laughs> all, right, all right i mean hey filipinos they could play some pool man I, I would never try to bet money against a filipino playing pool in the pool hall no thank you oh you pinoy no no, no thank you hell no I, i'm no no i'm not messing around with the pinoy not in the pool halls. There's a pool hall up here. No, 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 no. Not messing with you. No, thank you. I right, Damanayan. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, this this McDonald's is just doing their thing here. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, you know, guys, traditionally, you you know, Filipino restaurants, they're open early. Like, they're known to open up early. Because, again, I, Filipinos, they're early birds. And I guess, you know, because of the uh, the hospitals, you know, a lot of hospital workers, uh, Filipino restaurants, generally, they're open earliest. And then when you get their breakfast combo, you know what? Let's go. Should we go earlier? When you order their breakfast combo... Or if you order anything, they usually generally offer you uh, free coffee. The Filipino coffee. I don't know if it's good coffee or bad coffee. I don't know how to taste coffee. But I do know they, they do offer uh, free coffee generally at the Filipino breakfast spots. It's a inclusive situation. Hey, hey, hey. All right, folks, let's go get a refill on this, see how it works. I'm going to take my receipt in, in there just in case they ask for a receipt. Just in case. I'll be honest with you guys. I would rather them ask for it than not. You know, you know what I mean? Because I don't want to feel privileged in any way. I hope they ask for it, the receipt. So I'll take the receipt with me. Ah, McMuffins. Oh my! I, I'm not, my body's not really feeling it. My body's not re feeling it, Mike. Yeah. Ref yeah. My body's not feeling it, Mike. Not the donuts. I think my body's just calling for a refill just because to have some refill. My mind is on um, crunching numbers, because once I finish crunching numbers and you know have this sorted away, then. That's when I'm going to let loose. Do you know what I mean? That's when I'm going to let loose. Because, you know, and I'm not doing this forcefully either. My body's just telling me this is the way it's going to schedule itself. Because for sure, after I crunch my numbers and get that sorted of the way, that's when I want to get busy with it. Do you know what I'm saying, Mike?
Can I get a refill? Yes, please. Just the regular black coffee. Oh. Those look good, kinda. I wish it was fried. They should fry their, you know, they should fry their cookies also. Fry the cookies and the, and the pies. Try these up? No, no, no you can't. Only bake, huh? Thank you. And just for future reference, it's only one refill. Yeah. Well, thank you. Guys, nice looking uh, McDonald's. You could start ordering here. A lot of these kiosks. Hmm. Whole bunch of kiosks. And you know, they have one, two, three, four. They have like eight, ten employees back there. And uh, a lot of people drinking their coffee. That's an interesting situation over there. I don't know if you saw that. So there's a... So there's a group of uh, Koreans there. And everyone's... There's about six of them. Everyone's drinking uh, the small senior citizen coffee. But one guy has a big old Starbucks cup. I guess he's the king of the table. Uh Yeah, so the inside's not too big. They do have a little side area here with the play playhouse. That's why, huh? Big old kids kids area, and uh, yeah, a lot of oh, some more Koreans there. So, yeah. <laughs> so it looks bigger from the outside not too big but i remember coming here in the 80s definitely it's been remodeled for sure looks modern um and again over here there used to be a rallies they built a rallies burger in the early 2000s and it lasted maybe two three years after that mcdonald's i guess bought bought the rallies demolished this whole area Demolish the old building and built this back in the uh, sometime in 2005 ish. Oh, this is hot. They just, oh, this is hot, guys.
Actually, this is a cool picture, huh? Guys, let me make a TikTok video. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's go get a California donut. Oh boy. Uh, let's get a couple of sugar. Only if they have sugar twists. If they don't have sugar twists, no, 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 no. And, and by the way, if they're going to have sugar twists, it's going to be fresh now because it's. They make the fresh ones probably coming out right now, anywhere from like 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. By the way, this stream is proud. Proudly not brought to you by Madello. <laughs> refill on donut. You know what? I thought I read refill on chill. Refill, refill, like refill and donut. Yeah, let's get a let's go get a donut, guys. Allegedly. <laughs> Did I say Modelo earlier? No. Did I say? <laughs> Am I? Oof. So they do market with the R. So they say it's only one refill and they market with the R, which is understandable, right? I feel like maybe they should offer two refills. That's a pretty good balance because, you know, originally, you know, it was unlimited for the coffee, but maybe two refills. No, nah, maybe, maybe people sit here all day long, maybe. But I think two refills would be nice, a nice gesture. Maybe like on like, especially on a Sunday. Maybe two refills, but I guess I get I, I see why they're gonna just offer one. I see that, but historically, you know, coffee was you know unlimited refill. Maybe two would be nice. But hey, guys, get a yellow yellow spray paint. <laughs> get a yellow spray paint, <laughs> and they'll be like, "Hey, this has been doctored." Just tell them, "Hey, man." <laughs> but the the dude was nice. Dude was nice in there. He's very nice dude. I had some comment on that, but I'll just keep it to myself. You know, I'm learning, guys. I gotta be more savvy on these live streams. You know, I, I can't just let loose all the time. Maybe I can let it loose now. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I didn't let anything loose. Come on, guys. All right, let's go get a sugar twist. Ah, oh, boy. Because once I, if I eat that, then I want to eat this. I want to do this. Next thing I know, I won't be crunching numbers. I'll be crunching donuts. I got to go crunch numbers, guys. I'm at that uh, crunch time situation. But have we figured out what? S H T means or A S T H. Shake the. It ain't shake the hoe. What does H T H mean? S T H. All right, let's go get a donut. Man, I I don't want to go crunch numbers when it's raining like this. I love to just drive and be outside when it's raining. Or drizzling like this. Ah, pato pato. All right, I'm gonna get only two donuts. One for now, one for later. And this is Kimbap Paradise. If you're into Kimbap, Kimbap Paradise. I've never been there, but it's Kimbap Paradise. How could you not? Hey, 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 Korean church. Big old Korean church. Okay, it's not the biggest, but this is a pretty big one, it looks like. It looks like a big Korean church. And today is Sunday, so these Korean churches will get busy We'll get busy starting like at 9 a.m. It's for sure 10 a.m. Even 11 a.m. And for all the party goers, especially back in my days, they would go to church. They would have a noon service for, for the party goer. And then you would have people show up like straight in their club attire. <laughs> they still got, you know, whatever they do, they got to go to, you know, they got to go to church. So they would just go to church. Park it here. I guess you gotta, I guess you gotta park here. 
Get some California donuts. Donut à la vue. Okay. All right, guys. Let's go get. So just, just two sugar twists. That's it. Uh, maybe three. Uh, we'll see. Oh, this rain is beautiful. No, I, I don't. I don't see the sugar twist. No, they're out of the sugar twist. Let me ask. Do you have any sugar twists? Sugar twists? Hopefully they do. Hopefully they do. He's looking in the back. He's looking up and down. Please find some sugar twists. That'll be great. If he finds it, we're gonna get four if he finds it. I mean, they got a lot of these kind of little donuts. You know, cool little donuts. Hello. He's looking for some sugar toast for me. Thank you. Yeah, good. Yes, it's gonna be brand new. It's coming out the back. He says, "Hey, hey, hey." Nice. And uh, on top of that, I think someone mentioned a donut cake. Guys, you guys want to choose one? No, no sugar toast? You got three? Oh, you got, oh. Le lemon filled? One lemon? Yes. Uh, can I get uh, six? Uh, six donuts. Uh, yeah, you know what? I got this. They do have a croissant. I think Mike liked the uh, the blueberry cake, or he might be into uh, the cake donut. Oh, let's go pay for this. Awesome. He's going to make the sugar twist fresh in the back. So we hit the jackpot. We hit the jackpot. What? What? One croissant. All right, so just uh, let me get yes. one with the uh, and Thank you for this. You know what? Damn, now that I look at it, do you have one more sugar twist? One more sugar twist? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. It's four total. Yeah, one more. If you get six, you get two dollars off. Oh, there's a discount. You know, let's do that. Let's add so two, two more. Yes. Yes. Anything else for you? That's all. It's going to be $10. Would you like a receipt? Uh, no, thank you. Right, yeah. Could I add tip into that? Uh, there's no. No, no. no uh, okay. Don't worry, man. It's all right. good. Thank you. They'll bring it out second window for you. All right. right thank, thank you. you. All right, y'all. That donut looks so good that I'm like, you know, I'll get a fourth one. Hey, appreciate that. Thank you. So guys, well, I talked about this in the past. One of the first great American like donut stories happened here at California Donuts. And this is one of the OG places that spread the word out to, you know, donuts traditionally in LA is a Cambodian type of situation. And in the late 70s, early 80s, this is one of the first like success stories that spread out the word, hey, you could come over here, start a donut business and make money and do your thing. Um, 
you know, people who started this California Donuts here, this, yeah, they're able to buy this whole building among other buildings and so forth and so forth. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the same owners. Uh, I used to, at one point, I used to know the owners and know the, uh, the family related to this business. You know, I used to go golfing with them in the late 1990s with one of the uh, family members here. But anyways, their family was able to kind of do this thing in the early 80s. And uh, yes, yeah, spread the word out that, hey guys, you can make a lot of money making donuts and do, do, you know, do your thing. I don't know if that's such the case now in 2024, because there's so much like a donut or just some, a lot of other stuff that's going on now. But especially in the 1980s, these donut shops here in the LA area was a thing for sure. And, you know, maybe it still is. You know, California Donuts, I'm sure they're doing better business now than ever. I mean, they're selling these donuts for like four bucks from those like bougie donuts. They hit the social media train about six years ago and they've just been, you know, like this ever since. And good for them. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, that's the Cambodians. And I'm not saying Cam all Cambodians do donut shops. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, and I'm not saying you have to be Cambodian to do donut shops. But traditionally, I think, I could be off now. Maybe I'm uh, outdated here. Uh, I mean, they, they, that was their domain, donut shops. I mean, Cambodians, I think now, for a while, I think biggest Cambodian... community is in Long Beach, I think, now. But anyhow, I got my sugar toys. Thank you. And I got to eat one now. I do. Uh, as I said, coming in here, this is around the time they might have some fresh ones. And yeah, yeah. The employee was cool enough to kind of, because usually they could just say, no, we don't have any. Boom, boom, boom. Right? No, but he was nice enough to like, he went like this and went to the back and was like looking up and down. I thought he was looking for something. And then he, he finally like turned around and gave me one of these like this. I'm like, yes, yes, yes. Hey, hey, hey. It's not as big, kind of. The one at Yum Yum's were a little bigger. But again, these, they use what you call a Puritan... Puritan uh, dough. I don't know if that means anything to you, but those in the bacon industry, they know what Puritan dough is, or flour. Puritan. Puritan. So here it is, guys. And then, so I ordered, originally, I think I ordered three in one of this, and he was putting it in this pink box for me, which is, you know, you can see mind, this pink box experience. A lot of times these days, they won't use this pink box. But it's a real thing, this pink, pink box. Hey, 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 if you're into pink tacos, you gotta like pink boxes as well. Um, all right. So when he brought this out, I was like, oh man, can I get one more? And he goes, hey, might as well get two more because if you get two more, you're gonna get $2 off. So essentially, you know, it makes sense to get, oh gosh, this is why, Mike, I didn't wanna come here, okay, Mike? Oh, Mike. All right, let's go into this. Sugar twist. You know what? Six for 10 bucks. Now that I know this, oh man. This little lemon feel. I love the lemon feel. They had the raspberry one also, but the ras raspberry had the glaze. I, I prefer sugar and I prefer powder over glaze. Mm. Yeah, this is a problem. Now that I know I could get, you know, six of these for 10 bucks. Now that's the deal. And, you know, he could have easily not told me about that deal, right? 
he could have easily. So he said two bucks. I don't know what that means, but I'll just shut the hell up and eat my sugar toast. My favorite type of donut. Mike, for the discount, half dozen, so six. The bear claw. Hmm. I wanna see if they're or, or the way I don't go in. Don't go through the drive through. Oh, they ain't, get, they ain't got no drive through here. Yo, Mike Campbell, do you want to see more of the donuts? Did you get to see enough? I didn't realize that you want to see a thorough, but that was pretty much it, I think. But I don't think, I might have sped it up too much. So if you want to see it again, I could walk back there. Not a big deal. Mike, let me know if you want to see the donuts again. You know, they got those other bougie, like $4, $5 donuts, which I don't mess with. But, you know, the kids like that. They went viral for making those videos, like those type of donuts about seven years ago. They went viral on that just because, you know, for, uh, you know, for Instagram, they went viral. And that's when all the other donut shops were doing that kind of, you know, that kind of donuts. And for a while, you come here at any time because it's open 24 hours. There would be a, a queue of at least 10 people all the time for that hot second. And right now, it's 8 a.m. You see a good flow in the morning, 8 a.m. right now. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. I, I don't want... That might have looked... Oh, boy. I, I was like... <laughs> so I, I, didn't re I didn't realize... You know what? I got to do one of these. Name of the donut shop, California Donuts, California, in Cape, in Cape Town. Ooh, now we're talking. Ooh. So the way I'm thinking now is, guys, so essentially I got six donuts and a large coffee for $10. Not a bad deal, right? So effective-wise, large coffee, six donuts, not just any donuts. These are beautiful donuts, guys, for 10 bucks. 10 bucks. If you're working for minimum wage at a fast food place in LA, all you got to do is work for 30 minutes for all this. 30 minutes. You work for 30 minutes. You got all this for 30 minutes of work. Hey, hey, hey. But hey, guys. I'm a YouTube sensation. I make $20 an hour. All right, I'll shut the hell up. I'm a YouTube sensation. You know how much I make? How much I make? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I like... And yeah, you know what, Mike? I thought you said you like cake donuts. And I saw the cake donut, and I was like, ah, oh, should I get one? But I, it didn't fully register. I'll get one next time. I love the bear claw donut. Arr.
I think that Celia meant that she was going to do something. Going to do something. Something. Mwah. She has to go mow the lawn. No. <laughs> uh, that, that sounds wrong. Not that there's anything wrong with mowing the lawn. But those are just funny shaped glazed donuts. No, bear claws are... They're, they're brown in color, right? Bear claws? I'm getting bear claws mixed up with the, uh, the apple fritters. Bear claws. I think bear claws has more of a brown kind of a look, right? Mm hmm Six for ten. Hmm. I got to see enough. Okay. Sometimes, because traditionally, most donut places were 24 hours. Most of them, if not all of them, were 24 hours open. Nowadays, it's not. They're not 24 hours anymore. But this one's 24 hours. Maybe 10% of the stores are 24 hours now. Now, back then... You could roll, I used to roll into these donut shops at like 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m. And generally that's when they make their batch, their, you know, donut batches for the, for the day. Man, I would ask for these, uh, especially a couple of the places I knew them. So I'm like, I, when I go, they would know. When it's warm, the sugar twist, when it's warm, like straight out of the fryer, whatever you call it. Oh my goodness. Game over, guys. Game over. Now, I was hoping these were, like, hot. But again, no. They let the, you know, donuts kind of chill on the back and they do their thing. I mean, it is fresh, but it's not, like, warm. But it's fresh. But it's not warm. Warm would have just been a thing. But anyhow, I'm glad just to get the uh, sugar twist because uh, it's interesting. I, I came here the last couple times. And they're out of sugar twist. A lot of these places, sugar twist is the first thing that they run out of. Maybe it's that popular. I don't know. Maybe they don't make enough of these. But many times I go get sugar twist and they're out of it. But anyhow. I'm, I'm going to eat half of this. That's it. One and a half is enough for now. And then I got to go crunch some numbers. What's up, guys? I feel like some new viewers came in here today. Maybe they didn't. I just, I just let one loose. Things flew, flew out of my mouth just now. Just a mist. Nothing solid. I feel like some new people rolled in here because this live stream was very unusual timing with kind of an LA based. But some of the LA folks who joined in here, they don't know what to, see. they don't know what to say when they run into this live stream. They're like, "What is going on here? Like, who the hell is this dude? What the hell is he doing?" And yeah, it takes me a while for me to warm up, you know, they're like, what the hell is going on? What, what the hell? So if you're brand new in here, still kind of sticking around trying to decipher what's going on, I'll let you know what's going on here right now. Absolutely nothing. This is it. 
take a deep breath. This is it. Oh, watch my edited videos. It's mostly Vegas related. And I'm not quite sure, guys. Do I look over here? I'm looking at the camera, the, the, the lens, right? But I can't see myself. So it feels like I'm just looking into some kind of a circle situation, right? So it feels weird for me to talk them into this. But if I'm looking at you, looking at this right now, push number one for me right now. Because I'm wondering, I read online where they say you got to do this, you got to do that. I forgot. I always forget. But if, if I'm looking at you, if this is where I should be talking to, push number one right now. Now, I'm going to look in the center of the screen where I get to talk to my face. Hey, hey, hey. Now, I'm talking into my face. I feel like I'm talking to someone, in this case, to myself. But to you, it might look like my eyes are looking somewhere else, right? So push number five if I'm not looking at you right now. I'll oh, shut the hell up, dude. So do we prefer number five here? Is this the right way or is the number one the right way? Is it one? Hey, hey, hey. Number one. Or is it number five? Hey, hey, hey. One. Hey, what up, guys? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> is it number one? Or is it number five? Hey, what up, guys? Hey, hey, hey. Let me know. One or five? All right, and then I'll shut the hell up. And just, I'm going to eat half of this. Feels weird, bro. I hate to eat half a donut. It's like, what are you afraid of? Like, do you want it? Go all the way with it. Like, what are you, what, what's halfway? Like, eat the whole donut, man. Y you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. But <sighs> my body's just calling for a little bit extra. That's it. Just a little extra. And I'm going to go outside and get it, all these sugar spectacles out of here. I, I got Selena missed out. She didn't get to see the wrinkly curled up chili dog. And she. And. And she left before dessert. Well, she had to go H S T H. She had a something. I don't know what the hell that means, but she had to go something. And she peaced out. She probably had to go to church. Oh, it's one, huh? Oh, interesting. Hmm. Thank you, Mike. Smoke the herb. At 7 a.m. on a Sunday? Good for her. You like five better. Oh, interesting. Because hmm. I like five better for me as well, because I feel like I'm actually making eye contact with somebody. Although it's, you know, it's of me. I like this way better too, but I think some people say if I'm doing this, it looks like I'm looking at someone else looking this way. I don't know. Anyways, I'll shut the hell up. It doesn't matter at this point. RJ, Rand Jones says smoking the herb. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. By the way, I'm not covering up myself because I'm embarrassed to eat a donut. I feel like I don't want to see someone eating a freaking donut or eating anything in their mouth. So I learned on like some of these other videos, like Keith Lee, they cover their mouth when they eat. I don't know. It's, it's not a gesture I'll ever do in real life. 
I will never do that in real life. Let me do it more naturally. How about this? Hmm. Now that's that's the move. Here, here, here. Oh, by the way, guys. McDonald's, call me. <laughs> call me McDonald's. Love a good mop. <laughs> really? Ranjun says, love good mapang. Mapang twice, eh? Do you like mapangs? <clears throat> I guess this is a mapang. Uh, for those joining, I'm just eating a donut, guys. This is a big ass. This is one of the biggest jelly. Twice the size of a Krispy Kreme jelly. This is huge, guys huge I guess this is a mukbang yeah, mukbangs usually I thought, I thought the the character got to be a, a lady to be eating I think I don't I don't know how mukbangs go but <clears throat> Rand Jones that name doesn't sound Korean. Rand Jones might sound like they, he, or she. I think we established Rand Jones is a lady or a chick or a girl or a gal. I don't know how to say. Sometimes it makes me feel weird saying a lady or a girl is definitely out of the question now unless you're under the drinking age. But I think Rand Jones is a lady. I don't think Rand Jones is a dude. But if I had to pick, Rand Jones does not sound... Let me see, is it Rand Jones? Yeah, I don't see a Korean person naming himself Rand Jones, even as a uh, YouTube name. Rand Jones. Rand Jones. Shut the hell up. Hey, hey, hey. All the Jones I know are black. I don't know. Who knows? Doesn't matter. But I don't think they're Korean. No, I'm not. Oh, just like the food. Hey, what up, Mom? Damn, you got a lot of donuts. My, this is the reason why I didn't want to. Well. This is why I was hesitant about doing this because I knew that getting just one donut or even two was going to be hard to do. By the way, a little, it kind of flew out. Let me cover, let me cover this area. It kind of a little, little, little flew out. Guys, it's, it's okay. If you're eating and talking like this way, there's less propensity for anything to propel out, right? Because you're talking directly here. But when you look them down, there's not only a push of you talking, but there's also... Because <laughs> it's loop, man. <laughs> I think my editor was trying to cut me off because it's like, what are you talking about, man? Because what I was trying to say is, if I'm like down here, there's a gravitational pull for it to come out even much. Because You know what I mean? So this is harder than it looks. I'm crouching down. I think I'm back though. Good? Oh, that's amazing if I came back. I 
I think I'm there. Yeah, I'm back. Hey, hey, hey.